Hey friends, in this part of the SwellKit series we're going to learn about using advanced layouts in SwellKit and why they're so useful. So if you want to get started I have this project here I set up in advance, so in the post if you want to follow along the easiest way is to open the project on StackBlitz so you can see it's easy as opening a link which is really awesome. Or if you prefer your local development I have instructions in the post so you can clone the project, install the dependencies and run it and then you're going to have this development environment here. Okay, so let me just close this and let's continue. All right, friends, before we get started, let's first talk about the problem. I'm working on this million dollar idea, which is Plume, a site for discovering and sharing inspiring quotes. Don't ask me about the business model. First, we need to focus on growth and then we can talk about it in 10 years. And also, by the way, hot tip, if you need to come up with a cool sounding name, just use a word and translate it to one of those cool Latin languages like French, Italian or whatever else. Or you can spice it up with some German or Japanese. Alright friends, so what is the problem? Before I can ship the yacht to sea, I need to ship this code to production, but I have some problems here. And let me turn on some hacks, so I'm going to go to my developer tools here. And let me just enable layouts so we can visualize how these layouts work. And really this project isn't really anything complicated, I'm just running a basic SwellKit development server. So here in source, we have routes, and here we have admin and quotes. And really nothing special, so here are the ID and tags, and if you look at here, here is the root layout and then we have quotes so now we can see here is the nested layout because quotes inherits the root layout as we learned previously in layouts. So now this all works as expected but what is the problem here? For example I have this admin folder here and really want to use a separate layout for that. So for example investors are tech savvy and I'm going to look like a clown because if you go to the dashboard which is the admin section now it shares the root layout and the admin layout when I want a separate layout for this. So that's not a great look right? And also another problem I have, let's say we go to quotes, this looks all great, right? So we can go by tags or go to the quote itself. So let's see, we can go here. And that really looks great. So you can see how we share the same layout for quotes, ID and all the children. This is exactly what I want. I just want to show more quotes in all of the child. That's why I'm using this quotes layout. But here's the problem. If I, for example, go to the tags, now because tags shares the same layout as slash quotes, lives under slash quotes, right? It's going to inherit that quotes layout when I just want to show the tags and the root layout. So I want to keep the navigation, right? This is another problem that you're going to need to solve. To solve this problem, we can use group layouts. All right, so what are group layouts? Group layouts basically let you group related routes inside a directory which is wrapped in parentheses, but they don't create a new route. So if you remember this embarrassing admin section, we really want to create a separate admin layout for this. And let's say that the plume site, all of this code stack, which is user facing, we can say that this is going to be an app layout. So again, everything here that's user facing is going to be the app layout. And then let's say pretend when we log in into admin, this should use a separate admin layout. All right, so let's see how this works. I'm going to open the sidebar. I'm going to go to routes and I'm going to start creating some folders, which you can name whatever, but I'm going to name it app and I'm going to name it dashboard. And now it's easy as dragging folders around. So just ask yourself the question, all right, so what belongs in these folders? And the admin one is going to be the simplest. It already has a layout here, which is going to apply to the children. And let's just drag it into dashboard. Let's say move, and you might have this prompt to update imports, but just say no, unless you have to, of course. And that's basically it for the dashboard section. So, okay, let's look at the rest of our application. We have quotes. Okay, let's just move this into app because that's where it belongs, right? But this really isn't going to work yet because we need to update or in fact we need to add a layout to the app because right now we're using the root layout. So if we open the root layout, I'm just going to select everything and copy it over. And here I'm going to just leave what's necessary like the global styles and etc. So let's see what we don't need here anymore. We don't need this navigation anymore because we're going to define that in the app layout, right? And I'm also going to remove these styles here. Let's leave this. Also don't forget to <laughs> use slot. And now I don't need this anymore and I can leave everything else. And awesome, that looks great, right? Let's just go to here inside the wrap and let's go new file plus layout. Swell. So we can create a new layout for the app layout, right? Our admin layout is now working beautifully, which is great. And now we can remove things that we don't need here. So I don't need this. We want the navigation, of course. I don't need my dev tools anymore here. We don't need the global styles in app. And we can just remove this import. 
let's just save and now when we navigate you would expect it to work right but there's going to be one problem so let's first navigate to our site and all right okay what is going on like this is confusing where is the navigation right and basically if you remember let me just close this layout and i'm going to collapse everything just so we know where we are if you remember in routes we have this root layout here and this home page is right here right but it doesn't have anything in this root layout anymore it doesn't have the navigation etc so if I close this, if you want this page to be the root of one of your group layouts, you can just drag it in the group layout. So I'm just going to take this plus page.cell file and I'm going to drag it into app. And that's simple as that. Okay, so let's move it. And now everything works. Let me just close everything. And how awesome is this? So we can go to quotes, everything works just like before. And now we're going to go to the dashboard. Ah, oh, great. Okay, so let's go back. So next, let's fix the tags layout. If you remember the problem I had, if we go, let me turn on my hacks. And also let's recap. So here we have root and let me just rename if I go here to routes app because this should be named app instead of root. Awesome. Let me just close this. So as you can see, here is the app layout. We're gonna go to quote, same as before quotes layout. But remember when I go to a quote, this is great, but if I go to tags, I just want to show the tags and not use this quote layout, right? So I don't want other quotes and etc. So how can we fix this? If I go here, and I'm just going to collapse it just so we know where we are, because it's really confusing having to navigate all of these things. It's in our side our app, quotes. And now we already explained what this problem is. So we can create two separate group layouts in quotes, which is going to be one for the ID and the tags. So I'm going to do this by creating a new folder and I'm going to name this quote and I'm going to name the other one tags. And that's it. So same as before, we just need to start dragging things around. All right, so we have the ID, where does that go? That's related to the quote, right? So we can just move this inside quote, let's say no, and the tags go to the tags group layout. Awesome, and when we refresh, it's not done yet because we need to move this plus layout server TS and plus layout Svelte because this is related to the tags, right? So this is going to show more quotes and we just need to move it to its corresponding group layout which is going to be quote. So let's just select those two and we can move it to quote. And let me just close this. It's going to error for a second. And if you refresh, ah, it works, right? And now, for example, we're going to see a problem when you go to quotes, we're going to see nothing because again, remember, here it is this plus page.swell file, which we need to move into quote, right? So if we see it here, here is discover and share inspiring quotes. Actually, this is the starting one. As I already told you, this like gets confusing really fast. So this here is the plus page. So I really wish in VS Code, it would be so much easier to parse this folder structure. It would give you line spacing or whatever, but that's besides this point. So as you can see, here it is. Here's where it picks the random quote and whatever. And we just need to move this file inside our quote. So let's just move it here and everything should work great even though it says error, don't trust it. <laughs> okay, so now we can see, let me just close everything here. Let's see, don't save, just close everything here and let me turn on the hex. Okay, so now when we go see here is our homepage. So now we go to quotes, everything works great. We can go and share it if we want. So let's see, if you go to tags, oh, how awesome is this? So this really isn't going to inherit that layout and this is really awesome. And now even if you go to quotes and again, let's find this quote. And if you go to the inspirational one, we're not going to see more quotes here. And now we change the layout successfully. So as you already seen, group layouts aren't that bad, but I think what makes them confusing or difficult is when you start nesting layouts like this, because you can think of group layouts as a bucket to put things into, but if you're not confident in using layouts, yeah, this is going to be hard to wrap your head around. So if you're not sure when to use a layout, ask yourself if the child routes of a given route have some repeating content. In that case, a layout makes perfect sense. And also remember that we previously learned that data return from a layout's load function is available to child routes in your application, which is really useful. And of course, you don't have to use group layouts to put this away in your pocket in case when you need it and focus on the fundamentals instead. All right, if you thought this was mind bending, in the next section, I'm going to show you that individual pages and layouts can also change layouts. All right, so if you thought that group layouts aren't mind bending enough, let's talk about how you can break out of layouts. 
So we learned that group layouts are nice for related routes, but what if you want to use a different layout for a specific page or a layout? And you can do that. So for example, if we go to the quotes, let's find a beautiful quote. So we can go to that quote and let's say for example that we don't want these other quotes and we want to use some other layout like the app layout. So let's first find where it is in our code. So you can go to routes, app, quotes, going to be quote ID and quote ID. So you can see here is the file plus page.svelte that inherits the parent layout, so inherits the quotes layout and quote layout inherits the app layout. All right, so how can we use this app layout? We can just rename plus page.svelte we can use the add symbol and if you leave it blank it's going to use the root layout since this is an empty string but we want to just use another layout so you can specify the layout you want to use which should be apparent in this case it's app so now when we save this let's see what happens oh, how beautiful it is and we can even turn our hacks back on so now you can see it only uses the app layout and how awesome is this and you probably looked up how to reset the layout in SwellKit and were confused when you read that you need to use a blank root layout which doesn't make any sense until you learn about group layouts and how to break out of layouts. So if you want to reset a layout, you have to have a blank root layout. So if you remember, let me just collapse all of this. If you remember, we have this blank layout right here. And here is what Selk is going to reference when you leave a blank layout and it's going to use the root layout. And this is how you reset to a root layout. So I'm going to close it and let's see that in action. So for example, if I go to tags, Maybe I don't want this navigation, maybe I just want a separate page that just shows tags and doesn't use any layout and I want to reset it to the root layout. So let's see how we can do this. So let's first find where tags are, that's in app, quotes, tags right here. So let me just create a new layout for tags. I'm going to say plus layout svelte. I'm going to just define an empty script tag and let me see if it auto imports visualize. Awesome, because I just want to show it to you. And now we can give it a name, let's say tags or whatever I had. And then let's just say main, I have this class space, so it looks great. And then don't forget about the slot. Let's save it and it works same as before, but now we have a new layout. And how can we reset this layout, right? So if I open the sidebar again, and remember if I collapse this, so it's easier to see, here is our layout svelte, which is this file. So now we can change this layout for the layout itself. Okay, so now when we go to rename, we can just say at, this is an empty string and this is going to use the root layout. All right, so now when I do this, ah, oh, how awesome it is. So now you reset this layout, the tags layout to the root layout. And now even if we turn on the hacks, you can see this is the tags layout. And how awesome is this? All right, so now you know how to break out of layouts if you have to. So if you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also find the link to my Patreon in the description. So thank you for watching and catch you in the next one. Peace!